Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to get this video in for you guys today on the day or the couple hours before the Scream Team Part 2, the second round of the Scream cards in FIFA Ultimate Team. These guys that are in Scream right now, the first 11 players that have been in packs for the past week or so, the Ultimate Scream Team, uh, they are going out of packs. As uh, what the this says what the loading screen says and what the tabs inside of the game say that these the first screen team um, is going to be going out of packs at 6 p.m uk today on friday we're going to get the second set of the ultimate screen team and i want to kind of talk about how to get ready for that how to prepare um and just how to what to look for basically based on what we saw last week and what I think could happen this time around. So this is the Scream Team from week one. We all know these cards. We've been looking at them for a week now. We know what they look like. We watched them on the market go from crazy high prices on Friday and Saturday. Eber was selling at like 500,000 coins. Uh, James Rodriguez was at 480, 490, almost up at 500K. And with all the packs that came out this week and how low the market went, a lot of these cards got so freaking low on the market. So what's going to happen this week with the cards that come out of packs there's a couple theories of what could happen some people think that this first set of the screen players was like the starting 11 that we get you know like how team of the weeks work uh the starting 11 is always a little bit better than the bench that's how it always works for team of the weeks if we look at this past week's team of the week uh the guys in the bench 85 82 81 rated and the guys in the starting 11 are the more meta the more popular players so that's one argument that people have, and they think the second set of screen guys is going to be a little bit underwhelming compared to this set. I'm not so sure to think about that. I think it could go either way. Some people think the next set's going to be better. Some people think it's going to be worse. Regardless, I think there are going to be some market movements that you need to watch out for uh, today on Friday. First of all, with these players, if you haven't bought them for your team yet, unless we have some sort of guaranteed Scream SBC, these guys are probably going to act... Um, like Team of the Weeks out of packs, um, but I think they're not going to be exactly like Team of the Weeks because these cards are rare, man. These cards are pretty rare on the market. Since they have a very, very low pack weight, um, it's definitely lower than like a Team of the Week kind of player's pack weight. I mean, if we look at all the special Mullers, obviously he has a blue card. Uh, I don't know where that's at on the market, though. All the special Thomas Mullers, look how many pages we have. There's a couple blue cards filtered in there. But look how many pages we have of Thomas Muller on PlayStation 4. This is nighttime right now when I'm recording this, but there are nine pages of Thomas Muller. That is not a lot. There are not a ton of supply on some of these cards, especially some of the higher rated ones. Uh, let's go to Zlatan. We have to get the info I'm out of here for searching purposes. How many Zlatans do we have? How many pages of Zlatan do we have on this market? I know that the market is at nighttime right now. We'll do the math really quickly. Um, so right now we have how many pages? We have eight, seven pages basically of Zlatan. And the market usually is somewhere around three times as many transfers as this in the peak of the day. Usually around like eight to nine million transfers uh, at the very utmost peak of the day. Um, so if you multiply that by three, we have what? Uh, seven, 21 pages, um, around 21 pages at the very peak. If we have a lot of packs opened up, we would have like 21 pages of Zlatan which is honestly not a lot. If you think about another inform, like let's say Harry Kane, how much is Harry Kane? A very similar rated card um, to, to Zlatan. How many special pages do we have of him? We have some blue cards that are filtered in here. That's a little bit of a problem. Let me try to sort those out. Um, but the minimum buy now of like what, 50 or 60K? I don't know, I don't know what that's gonna look like. We're probably still gonna have some blues in here, but how many how many pages of Harry Kane do we have? Okay, maybe about maybe about similar. We had eight pages of Zlatan, um, and we're already at thirty minutes, and we we're at eight pages of Kane, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so fourteen pages. Let's say maybe ten of those pages were all informs because we had some UCL cards in there. We're gonna multiply this by three. Kane has twenty pages, twenty one pages. Kane has 20 pages on the market, so maybe like 18 without the UCL cards in there. Um, there's a lot more supply on the informs than there are on these Ultimate Scream cards. So basically, that long explanation was just me saying, these Scream cards 
um, are pretty rare on the market and they have dropped so low and I think this is going to help their rebound potential a lot. So if you want to get one of these scream guys, the best time to do it is probably going to be Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday when the weekend league sell-off is happening. People are trying out the brand new scream cards instead of these, um, but I do think these are going to rise pretty well over the next couple of weeks. Better than informs should. Better than informs should because they are a lot more rare. But talking about the new scream team for today, we need to look at what cards could be coming out. I don't have leaks or anything like that. I just want to prepare for you what to be looking for today when the new content drops at 6 p.m. UK. The first thing that we're going to look for is link investments. Last week, this is purely based on last week. I've been telling a lot of people about this. Some people thought that McTominay was going to be a stream card, okay? If McTominay gets a big boost a very desirable card. He's going to be a box, box to box. Well, it's a bad voice crack. A box to box center mid that a lot of people are going to want to use in foot or at least try out. Manchester United, young player, um, hyped up, high high, three star, three star, six foot four. He won't have the best agility and balance, but he'll be a card that people will want to try. Okay, especially if he gets a big boost. So, I'm just using him as an example to what kind of link investments would you make? To somebody trying this card in FIFA. Always look for the strong links because those take priority over just a soft link. McTominay, he is from Scotland. I had to check. That is bad. But I know that he links with Robertson. Robertson, left back, Liverpool. That would be a green link right there between him. Um, that's a card that I would look to be a link investment to that card. Um, and then also Wambi Saka would be a probably a pretty solid link investment to a McTominay screen card. So again, basically what you saw last week with these cards, I'm not entirely sure if all the link investments went up on these, but in the short term, when people go and try these cards right away in their in their teams, if it's a very hype card that got a very big boost, let's say McTominay again gets one, a Scotland player from Manchester United, probably not gonna fit into a lot of teams right away. So people are gonna have to maybe buy some cards to fit it in with him to try to get them in their squad. Um, Robertson or Wami Saka would be a great example of a player that, that you could buy that might rise up in the hype. So look for the link investments to those new Scream cards that will be coming out and also substitute investments. During the week, Muller dropped down a lot in price. Center attack and mid in the Bundesliga. Also German, who is also a German center attack and mid of the Bundesliga. Marco Royce. Marco Royce's card dropped a lot this past week. Going from 295k down to 215. Now it's back up to 232 after weekend league rewards. But that's the kind of stuff you can look to happen this week um, with some of the screen cards. Watch for the link investments and watch for the substitute investments as well. And then actually, we're when we're talking about when the content drops at 6 p.m. UK, the thing that is really going to decide what happens on Friday today is going to be what SBCs we see in here for Ultimate Scream. If the player SBCs that, that they put in here are good and they're cheap and they're well-priced, you're gonna see a lot of people wanna go out and do those SBCs and a lot of demand. And that also means probably some cheap pack SBCs. Last Friday they dropped two SBCs for packs and two SBCs for players, Milner and Jesus Navas. I would expect the same thing today. I would expect two through SBCs, two pack SBCs, and then um, objectives to be updated as well because I think, yes, the Jekko, this expires in 14 hours and 12 minutes. So this expires at the same time as when the new stuff would come out. So I would expect a new objective player inside of there as well. So new objectives, new SBCs. And if there are pack SBCs, everybody's going to be focused on those new SBCs and the new Scream team. Nobody's going to be focused on the rest of the market. So if you're somebody who's a trader, you look at the new team, you think, cool, sweet, new team, new cards on the market, but you're looking to make some coins. This is some places where you can look for some possible panic on the market, or honestly, just less people looking at the market. And that could possibly mean um, some more hype and some more um, uh, panic, basically. So this little filter that I have set up right here with the basic icon filter based on how many coins you have, this is going to be a great thing to look at tomorrow. If a pack SBC comes out, people are going to be packing icons. There's going to be promo packs. That means more icons coming on the market. And that is something you can watch for. Get on a basic icon sniping filter. Basically, I would set a minimum buy now at like 400 or 500,000 coins if you have a lot of coins. 
And that way you can filter out some of the lower end icons and look for some of the undercuts on the larger icons, depending on your coin amount. Um, that's gonna be a good filter to look for stuff on. And also you're, you're gonna wanna look at the gold card market and the UCL rares, S especially guys that are very popular that rebound every time we get pack supply. First guy that I think of when I think of pack supply and rebounding, um, Titty, 62,000 coins at the moment. He was under 50K uh, before Week in League Awards, so he's already up a lot. If you see this guy drop down to like 50K again, please pick a couple of them up because he should definitely rise after all the panic if there are packs opened, which there should be, at 6 p.m. UK on Friday today. You should see this card and a lot of other meta cards take a quick dip and then rise back up. Um, especially if they rose this weekend, you'll see some people that will panic sell their cards to go try a new scream card and then, or try something and feel like they're going to lose coins and then panic sell. Um, and then they'll go buy those cards right back. So watch those kind of prices, um, when at 6 PM UK, when we get the packs and watch for past team of the weeks as well. One thing that you can do when 6 PM UK comes is good. Get over here on footbin, footbin.com backslash squads, players, team of the week right here. Go through some of the old team of the weeks for cards that rose this week. Alexander Arnold's like 140K right now. He rose a bunch this week. Uh, Coutinho went up a bunch this week. Watch some of these informs. If you know the inform prices, maybe even a guy like Wijnaldum, 150,000 coins at the moment. Watch and see if he dips down. Even in the current team of the week, there's going to be some pack supply tomorrow. Watch some of these prices. Maybe Griezmann falls back down to like under 500K, 480, 470. Maybe Inform Ben Yedder falls to like 220K. Those could be decent pickups as uh, people panic sell those cards as those cards get packed. You could look for some panic on the impacts and out of packs, informs, and stuff like that. Basically, just be looking all over the market tomorrow. Pick up on some of those panic flips that do dip low. You could have an opportunity to buy some of those cards late. Uh, or like an hour or two after the 6 p.m. Uh, content with all the SBCs and then sell them three, four, five hours later in the evening as people buy back and continue playing weekend league. Now, there's two more things that I do want to talk about. And the first one is the panic leading up into the promo, all right? So you're probably going to see a little bit of panic selling coming, happening on the market as we lead up into the promo. It happened last week. People know there's gonna be packs, there's gonna be gold supply coming on the market. So watch some of these cards, um, especially like a guy like Umtiti. Again, I'll use him in it as an example. Maybe we'll, we'll switch it up. We'll go with Dembele would be a good example. Usman Dembele, what is he right now on the market? Is he like 50K? Is he like 50K, 55K? All right, he's somewhere around like 52, 53,000 coins. People might sell off this card because they know the SBCs are probably going to come out and you might see his card price dip a little bit. Sometimes some of those cards that you see dips on in the morning could be a good pickup um, just because they're getting panic sold and you're you're seeing them get way too low. So watch, monitor the panic in the morning. Watch these graphs over here on Footbin. Go to the market over here, this market tab. Drop down to index gold. There's a lot of good stuff that you can find in here. You can tell right now the market is up, up and away. 60 points. We were at 55 points this morning, 54 after weekend league rewards, and we're up to 60 points. The market is doing very well. Stuff is going up. People are making, uh, people are buying teams, getting cards in their squads, and playing weekend league. You're watching a lot of these cards rise up. So that could be a decent time. Time. Wow, that was another terrible voice crack. Gee, the Louise. Gee, mini. Crazy. But. Could be a time to flip some of those golds and watch the pre-market panic. The pre-market panic would probably be the most, um, you would see the most pre-market panic on something like an inform, maybe a, a scream card already, maybe an icon as well. I, I wouldn't expect a ton of panic on an icon, but that is a possibility uh, on an inform that you could see more panic um, for that. And of course, uh, always look for the cheap SBC filler stuff. I mean, obviously we're going to be getting SBCs. Uh, if you're if you're seeing this before 6 p.m. UK, maybe chuck some 83s, 84s, 85s in your squad that are very cheap, just in case we do get a very hype SBC that a lot of people want to go out and do. Um, that could be something that you look forward to as well. But tomorrow should be a big day on the market. Scream team set number two, more SBCs, more market panic, and uh, oh, the second thing. Ones to watches, watch those cards as well. 
this is a big, big thing right here. Watch these OTW cards tomorrow because a lot of guys are not going to have their eyes on these cards during the uh, 6 p.m. hour tomorrow, the content drop hour. Julian Brandt is a once to watch that I, I watch his card price often. 36,000 coins right now at the moment. I think Dortmund has a pretty decently important game this weekend. Um, so a lot of guys play this weekend as well. So just watch the OTW cards. You might be able to get on some good bids and see some undercuts um, as people are forgetting about those, but they would have games this weekend. So they could be rising back into the hype. Could be a little bit of a quick flip scenario for a lot of you guys. I'm probably going to be looking at flipping some of these cards and flipping screams on the first day as well. Last week, if you remember, um, some of the scream cards dipped really low on Friday night heading into Saturday. Like this Hamas card was like four, I think it was like 450 or 460. And early Saturday morning, people bought this card up to go try him out. And he went back up to over 500,000 coins. If it's a big upgrade on another card like this, like Hamas Rodriguez or whatever hype cards we see uh, tomorrow for the new team, today for the new team, excuse me, um, those cards could be great flips buying them late Friday night, like midnight to 3, 4 a.m. UK time. And then selling them at like 11, uh, excuse me, at like in the afternoon UK time. So like 1 to 4 p.m. UK time. Those could be, that could be a, that's the big balls flipping method is you see a lot of people talking about on Twitter. That's where you're going to see a lot of people try to trade with tomorrow because there'll be hype around the new players and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of talking, a lot of stuff that I talked about. But just watch for the panic tomorrow. And my number one overall general tip to you guys would be, Look in the areas where nobody else is looking when it comes to the screen content tomorrow and the packs and everything that comes out at 6 p.m. UK. So be on the watch for that kind of stuff. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.